Hi, bud. You're gonna be in the video in just a minute, okay? I promise. I promise. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you happen to be new here. And if you are new here, my name is Ashley and I have five cats. You might be thinking to yourself, damn, you have become the eHarmony cat lady. And yes, while it's true, I am a crazy cat lady. Um, <laughs> these cats really, truly give me more than I give to them. My llama is upside down. The amount of happiness and joy that these cats actually bring into my life is unreal and I wouldn't have it any other way. I know that we get a lot of, no, you can't be in the video yet, honey. I know that we get a lot of judgment because we have five cats, but who cares? It's our life and we are living our best life. I've always had cats growing up and it's something positive for me to put my love into and my time into and like I said, they give me way more than I could give them. So if you couldn't tell, today I'm going to be introducing you to all of my cats and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about each one of them and how we got them and how we came to have five cats. So before I jump into this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I also wanna give a big, big shout out to Lisa at the Little Power family. She helped me out today. I was in a little bit of a struggle. I came to realize that the term dead fam was already taken by a bigger YouTuber. I clicked on the hashtag on Twitter and I saw their page and I'm like, eh, I don't wanna rip them off. So I decided to change our little family name. And thank you so much, Lisa, for suggesting dead stars. Dead girl, superstar, get it? So our new family name is Dead Stars. Are you ready to start the video? All right. So this big girl here is Rin. Can you just cooperate for a second, please? Thank you. Rinny is almost two years old. She'll be two years old on January 19th. I got Rin in the middle of March of 2015, 2016, sorry. Um, one of our friend's girlfriend was had a litter of cats and Rinny here was about to go to the Humane Society. And I was just diagnosed with cancer. So we decided that she would be the most positive thing that I could have in my life. And it's true, she's my girl. She's always with me. So Rin is named after a character in Naruto. If you guys watch anime, she is named after Rin, obviously, Rin. Uh, but her name was originally Itachi. Another member of Naruto, another um, character in Naruto. And one of our friends kept calling her Sachi. <laughs> so we decided on Rin. And that was a lot better when we were training her because she, like cats and dogs all respond better to one syllable names. So Rin is absolutely perfect for her. Plus she's a little ninja. She's my little shinobi warrior, right? No, not you, not yet. You're last. You're last. You're the littlest one. So this big boy here, you guys have met him before. This is Peep. His real name is Jim Halpert because we love The Office so much. But Peep, um, funny story, about, mm, Rinny was almost a year, so, mm, no, I'm gonna say about May of 2016. I, I'm gonna let him go. About May of 2016, Marcel and I, we were still living in our apartment next door and we came over here to visit my mom and we were leaving one afternoon and Marcel just happened to look over and he's like, is that a cat? Mind you, it was the middle of May. It was pretty hot out. Uh, so Peep was this big when we found him. He was all beat up. He was covered in some sort of oil or grease and he was pretty much left out there to die. So Marcel looked at me and he goes, can we, can we do it? And I said, I don't care, grab him, we're bringing him home. So from then on, Pete became a member of our family. And now he is an 11 pound boy, a big, huge, yeah, am I, am I talking about you? <laughs> he is honestly the joy in my life. He cuddles me every night. He's just, he's so elegant and royal and I just, I adore him. Now, for a long time, we struggled with cash uh, to get him fixed. We always needed the money for something else. So we ended up with two litters of cats out of him and Rin. Something we were not expecting to have to deal with. 
he's fixed now, so I mean, we're fine. But at one point we had seven cats and then almost six months, nine months after that, we had nine cats. So that was hard. Ginger! They all come running when you call their names. Ginger and AC, come here. So I'm not sure which order I should show these two because Ginger was the firstborn, but Ace we decided to keep first. So this girl, this is Ace. She was our last born out of our first litter and I knew that I wanted to keep her right away because when I used to work at, the, at a pet store a little while ago, there was a gorgeous black and white cat named Ace and he was so lovable to the point where you open the cage and he jumped at you to give you a hug. And she pretty much does the same thing. She loves attention and she loves to get love. So that's why I named her Ace. This girl here, this is my gingerbread. Gingerbread, gingerbread, gingerbread. So like I said, Ginger was the first born in the litter. She's in heat right now and she's just a little bit crazy. But Ginger was named after a mixture of Aunt Ginger from Shameless and Ginger Minge, the drag queen. <laughs> Ginger is a beautiful girl and we were gonna give her away. We had a home for her and everything, but the last day that we had her, she, I think she knew that she was going to go. So she just became really lovable with us and with all the other cats and she won our hearts over. So we, ha we, we had to keep her, why, why not? And then from then our family of what would have been five grew to a family of six. Uh, I did not mention, but Ace and Ginger have the same birthday. Ace and Ginger have the same birthday and it is April 21st. The day that Rin went into labor with them, I honestly thought that she was dying because I'd never had to experience that on my own before. So I woke up and she was all the way back here where our roommate's bed used to be all along this wall. And I woke up and she was on her back with her legs in the air, uh, <laughs> ready to give birth. And I literally hugged her on the ground and I sobbed and I'm like, you're gonna be okay. And she birthed out five beautiful, healthy babies. There was Ginger, Ace, Larry, Church, and Finn. So those were the five out of the first litter and we ended up keeping Ginger and Ace. So now let's get on to the second litter. Ew, you can see my Burger King in the back there. I didn't even realize. So now our second litter was born on August 29th. So not, not six months, four months after the other ones were born. So Rin, we couldn't stop that once again. He only got her once and she ended up having five more babies. So <laughs> out of that litter, there was Luby. We couldn't decide between Lucy and, I forget the other name, Lucy and something else. We ended up calling her Luby. Uh, there was church number two, Kittler. You guys probably saw, those. all these cats are in another video. There was Kittler, um, there was, oh, Maxie. And then, come here, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. And our Bean. <laughs> bean does not like to be picked up. Bean is a squirming worm. But Bean is our handsome little boy and he really, really won our hearts over. I, as I was advertising all of the kittens to get rid of them, he was always the first one that I advertised to get rid of first. And every time I would get a message, it would be like, uh, I don't really want a boy cat, but I'll take him. And that made me really uncomfortable because I didn't want someone taking a cat that they didn't actually want, you know? So after we got rid of Maxi and we got rid of Church 2, those were the last two to go, we were sitting here and we're like, nobody's really gonna love him better than us. And he has a really good home here. And the other male cat will really offset the balance between females and males in the house with Peep. So we decided to keep a fifth cat. And I know, I know it's crazy. I know it's a lot of food. I know, I understand. But you know what? I'm 24 years old. I don't have a baby. And I don't want a baby. Why not put my time and effort into something that makes me truly happy? I don't mind spending my money on my cats. I don't do anything with my life. I mean, I do, but I would rather spend my money making sure that these babies are happy and healthy so that I'm happy. 
You know, like these are a lifelong commitment, just like a child. 18 year contract with cats. But you know, like I said, these cats give me way more than I could ever give them. And every morning when I wake up and each one of them greets me and loves me and meows at me and just the snuggles and the unconditional love that I get from these animals is so worth every penny spent. So my question of the day is, do you guys have any pets? Do you have cats, dogs? I also have a gecko named Roger. Uh, he lives downstairs with my mom. She's a little bit worried about him moving up here that the cats would eat him. So he's safe and sound down there. But I want to know what kind of animals you have. So leave all that in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, turn the notifications on and share this video with someone who loves cats. I love you guys so much. I really needed to make this video today because this makes me happy. So I will see you guys in my video tomorrow, four days till Christmas after today. That is crazy. Do you guys want to see a what I got for Christmas video? Because I think I'm going to post that on Boxing Day. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Sign our suckers.